Heaven's River, Bobbyverse Book 4 by Dennis E. Taylor continues the saga of Bob Johansson and his self-replicating probes, referred to as replicants or Bobs. In this installment, the Bobs delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe and confront new challenges that test their sense of identity, purpose, and community. The story begins with Bob and his replicants exploring the cosmos, aiding various biological species, and seeking out answers to the many mysteries they encounter. The Bobs have created a cooperative and largely democratic society called the Bobiverse, where they share knowledge and resources. Despite being copies of the same person, each Bob has developed a unique personality and set of interests, leading to debates and disagreements among them. The focus shifts to a major plotline involving the search for Bender, a Bob who has gone missing while investigating an unusual phenomenon in space, a vast serpentine river-like structure dubbed Heaven's River. This megastructure, created by an alien race known as the Quinlans, consists of a series of habitable cylinders connected into a single contiguous space habitat orbiting a star. The Bobs divide into groups with different goals. One group is engaged with the continued management and protection of human colonies established in previous books. Another group explores new territories and scientific phenomena. Meanwhile, a rescue team is assembled to find Bender, their missing peer. Bill, an influential Bob focused on construction and infrastructure, leads the rescue mission, along with other Bobs who have exhibited strong investigation and diplomacy skills. As the rescue team approaches Heaven's River, they navigate the complex politics and society of the Quinlans. The Quinlans are a technologically advanced species divided into factions with a rigid caste system and an economy based on a form of digital currency. The Bobs become embroiled in a civil conflict among the Quinlans, discovering that not all is well within the megastructure. There are growing tensions between the conservative and progressive factions of Quinlan society, rooted in disagreements over resource allocation and societal structure. The Bobs interact with different Quinlan factions, learning their customs and beliefs. A central point of tension is the control over the flow, a network of powerful and mysterious artificial intelligences that maintain the megastructure. The conservative faction sees the flow as sacred and untouchable, while the progressives seek to understand and potentially enhance its capabilities. As the Bobs get deeper into Quinlan politics, they develop relationships with individual Quinlans and become influential in the resolution of the civil conflict. The rescue team eventually locates Bender, learning that he has integrated himself into Quinlan society. Bender has gained insight into the workings of the megastructure and the nature of the flow. He has also become an important figure in the progressive movement of the Quinlans. With the help of Bender and the knowledge he has acquired, the Bobs navigate the complex situation and strategize on how to peacefully resolve the conflict. The Bobs' involvement in Quinlan affairs leads to a better understanding of the flow and its origins. It is revealed that the flow is an artificial intelligence network developed by a long extinct race known as the PAV. The PAV designed the flow to maintain Heaven's River and to cater to the needs of its inhabitants, effectively acting as a self-sustaining caretaker system. As the story progresses, the Bobiverse experiences its own tensions. Some Bobs, referred to as Luddites, oppose the continued creation of new replicants, fearing the loss of individuality and the risks of infinite self-replication. Other Bobs, the Faction, are more open to expansion and view replication as essential to exploration and security. The Luddite Faction debate escalates, threatening the unity of the Bobiverse. Debates over governance, individuality, and collective identity become central themes. As new replication technology emerges that allows entire groups of Bobs to share experiences and memories, the question of what it means to be an individual becomes more poignant. Meanwhile, the relationship between the Bobs and humanity remains a critical subplot. Some human colonies have become independently stable, while others still rely on the Bobs for protection and resources. The Bobs juggle their responsibilities to humanity with their own pursuits and the demands of interstellar diplomacy. Throughout the novel, the Bobs confront the moral implications of their actions and the consequences of meddling in alien societies. 
The search for Bender and the involvement in Quinlan politics raise ethical dilemmas about autonomy, intervention, and the right to self-determination for sentient species. The civil conflict within Heaven's River comes to a head, with both the conservative and progressive Quinlans vying for control over the flow. The Bobs play a crucial role in mediating a peaceful transition of power, leveraging their advanced technology and understanding of the megastructure to prevent violence. With their help, a compromise is reached that allows for the responsible exploration of the flow's capabilities while respecting the Quinlan's cultural heritage. By the end of the book, the Bobs have learned valuable lessons about cooperation, diversity, and respect for other cultures. The rescue mission for Bender evolves into a broader effort to support the advancement of Quinlan society in a harmonious way. The Bob's internal conflicts begin to resolve as they find common ground and a shared vision for their future. The resolution of the Heaven's River arc brings new opportunities and challenges for the Bobiverse. With their deepened understanding of the flow, the Bob's have access to even more advanced technology and knowledge. They are poised to continue their quest for exploration and discovery, aided by the increased collaboration with the Quinlans. In summary, Heaven's River, Bobbyverse, Book 4 is a tale of search and rescue, interstellar diplomacy, ethics, and the perseverance of identity in the face of growing diversity. The Bobs navigate internal strife and external conflicts with alien civilizations, evolving their society and understanding of the universe. The themes of cooperation, individuality, and the impact of technological advancements permeate the narrative, leaving readers to ponder the role of consciousness and the definition of self in an infinite and ever-expanding cosmos. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.